I think that you shouldn't be here. <laughs> you're, having the, you're having the other side. Let me begin by welcoming you once again. Uh, the Secretary General uh, is not new to Pakistan. He's been here several times or as the Commissioner for Refugees, uh, but has come for the first time as the Secretary General uh, of the UN. So I welcome him. Uh, you have recognized uh, uh, the contribution Pakistan has made, and we do recognize the contribution of the UNHCR. Your personal efforts and your institutional efforts are acknowledged. We feel that collectively we have to uh, uh, agree on a roadmap of repatriation, which is time bound, which is uh, supported by the international community and is well uh, resourced. We also understand that there will be a pull factor that will make that possible, and Pakistan has contributed to that pull factor. Uh, by facilitating uh, peace and reconciliation uh, in Afghanistan. This is my first visit as Secretary General of the United Nations. But as I Commissioner for Refugees, I had uh, the opportunity, I was fortunate, to be able to visit this country several times. And as I said this afternoon uh, in the Conference on Sustainable Development and Climate Change, uh, what I've seen uh, as generosity, as solidarity in the Afghan people has uh, created a love affair between the Afghan people and myself. I have uh, a full agenda, but there is a common thread to all my events and meetings here. It is simply this, to recognize Pakistan's outstanding generosity and solidarity over many decades and to highlight its place in confronting some of the biggest global challenges our world faces today. I strongly believe it is time for the world to step back and look at Pakistan through a wider frame. One of the main purposes of my visit is to spotlight the real Pakistan with all its possibilities and potential. Here in Pakistan, we see solidarity in action. Pakistan is today the world's second largest source of refugees and for decades it was the first. I look forward to taking part tomorrow in a conference marking Pakistan's four decades of support for Afghan refugees. For 40 years, despite Pakistan's own challenges, Pakistan has sheltered and protected Afghan refugees with limited support from the international community. I can testify to this. Having served as High Commissioner for Refugees, I always found in Pakistan a reliable and generous partner. Pakistan has consistently been one of the world's top contributors to UN peacekeeping, with more than 4,000 men and increasingly women serving today in nine missions around the globe. I want to reaffirm that the preferred durable solution for refugees has always been voluntary repatriation in safety and dignity to their country of origin. And this is also true for Afghan refugees. Through its support to the ongoing peace efforts and building the necessary regional consensus, Pakistan continues to play a crucial role in realizing this potentially historic opportunity for peace. And the United Nations remains committed to supporting an inclusive and Afghan-led peace process that upholds the human rights of all citizens and leads to a sustainable peace in Afghanistan. I'm grateful for the work of the United Nations Military Observer Group in India and Pakistan. UMOJIP will continue to monitor the ceasefire at the line of control in accordance to its mandate. And today I was happy I could inaugurate the new premises of their headquarters. And I'm deeply concerned about the increase in tensions that we have witnessed last year. I have repeatedly stressed the importance of exercising maximum restraint and taking steps to de-escalate both militarily and verbally while reiterating my offer to exercise my good offices, should both sides ask. Diplomacy and dialogue remain the only tools that guarantee peace and stability with solutions in accordance with the Charter of the United Nations and the resolutions of the Security Council. I also look forward to visiting the newly opened Qatarpur Corridor, 
connecting two key Sikh pilgrimage sites. This is a welcome symbol of interface harmony, a unique experiment in cross-border ties showing Pakistan's commitment to peace.